What's up, everybody? Brad, we are here once again with War Torn Creative. Uh, the FAQ came out earlier this week, and I think it's about time we discuss some of those topics. So the first topic that we have is going to be flyers. So now, obviously, I play some flyers in my Eldar list, so this is a pretty big change, not only for Eldar, but across the board. Uh, it is going to do a lot of... I guess, balancing things for them. I guess you could call it a nerf, but I think it's just going to make uh, the people that play flyers have to be a little bit more tactical with things. So the first thing that we've got on flyers is it says no part of a model or its base can be set up or moved over the edge of the battlefield. So what this means is your wings aren't going to be able to be hanging over the edge of the the, the table when you deploy or when you move. So now what that is going to do is that's going to generate people needing to be way more strategic on where they're placing their flyers because you know if you could place it before to where the base of the model was all the way on the edge of the table and then the wing is sticking off you know three or four inches uh, that allows you to just set up completely differently. So now what it's going to do is this is going to limit the space a little bit if you're running a heavy flyer list and you have to be way more careful on where you're placing stuff. Also, if you're moving into the opponent's back lines and things like that, uh, just because your base fits doesn't mean you can place it there now. Like if your base fits and your wings or tail are hanging off the edge of the table, well, guess what? That can't happen now. So it does create a little bit different type of gameplay and allow people to block flyers a little bit easier now. So another thing that was kind of interesting uh, is going to be the aircraft keyword. So now what this basically is, is it says if a unit can fly and it has a minimum move characteristic or if it has a damage table on its data sheet that includes any minimum move characteristics, that unit gains the aircraft keyword. Now what the aircraft keyword is going to do is pretty simple. So whenever a model makes any kind of move, it can be moved within one inch of an enemy aircraft, and it can be moved across the model's base as if it were not there. Okay, so that's the first part of it. So basically what that is saying is before you can move block and you could not move through the model. Now you can move through the model because you're moving over the base of it as if the flyer is way up high. So you're just moving, moving across it. But however, you cannot end the move on top of another model or its base and you cannot end the move within one inch of an enemy unit. So you can move across it, but your move distance has to completely clear that base and one inch. So you could still move block. You just have to be further away from the enemies when you're move blocking so that they can't end um, on, t on top of your base. So one little debate that I don't think is very clear with this rule is it says whenever a model makes any kind of move. So one thing that's not clear in this is does a charge move count for this? Because this could be huge, right? Now if you move within an aircraft then you make a, a charge, you go over the base and now you're you know, charging another unit. Um, but if it does not allow you to charge at all, that still lets you move block in a very uh, big and unique way. So it says any kind of move. You guys let me know in the comments, is a charge a move or is a charge a charge phase? It doesn't say the move phase. It doesn't say any type of phase. It just says any kind of move. To me, that says you can do it in a move phase and a charge phase because a charge, you are literally moving your models. So now if you do select somebody in the movement phase and an enemy model is within one inch of the aircraft, it can still move. It does not have to fall back or anything like that. So because they cannot activate, um, you know, in close combat or anything like that, they do not have to fall back. Uh, so when you're moving your aircrafts slash flyers and you get within an inch of an enemy, that does not mean that they are locked in combat. They can still move. The last thing to the flyers is going to be prepared positions. Now, this has been a, a finalized kind of rework uh, beta rule. And uh, basically what this is going to say is that the flyers cannot use it. The aircraft keyword, I'm sorry, cannot use prepared positions. So now if, if you have a bunch of 
uh, flyers with the aircraft keyword and your opponent goes first and you use prepared positions, you're not going to get that additional cover save. So flyers are already hurt, hard to hit. So then adding that additional cover save makes it even harder to kill them. So they have eliminated that from the possibilities. Overall, I think that all these changes are good changes to help manage the flyer slash now aircraft spam. Um, I think that you're still going to be seeing just as many on the table, though I don't think it's going to deteriorate people from taking them. Uh, you can still move block. You just have to be way more careful on how you're doing it and where it's placed. You have to be way more careful when you're deploying and when you're moving uh, because of the edge of the battlefield. I think it's very interesting how that is going to work, but overall, I like it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I don't think it's going to change too much. I think all it's going to do is make people that are playing Flyers have to be a little bit more strategic, and everybody who doesn't play Flyers is probably very happy. So once again, I'm Brad Weir. That's War Torn Creative. That was all about Flyers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that sub button. Like us on everything that you can, and we'll see you next time.